Hey students, let's take a look at static and flexible budgets. What do you understand by a static budget? Now, a static budget is a fixed budget prepared at the beginning of the period. So, at the beginning of the period, we prepare a budget for one level of activity. Let's say 10,000 units. So, it's for 10,000 units. That's it. But actually, we may make 11,000 or we may make 9,000 units. Yes or no? The difference between the actual and the static budget is a fixed budget variance. Okay? It's also called the level 1 variance. Look at this. This is the static budget. We budgeted for 10,000 units. We expected <coughs> uh, the revenue to be 450,000. Maybe the, the pricing was like this at the rate of $45 per unit. So this is 450,000. Material, labor, Overheads. These were the other costs as per budget. You would get therefore 450 less variable costs. Variable costs are costs which vary with every unit of production. Mm -hmm. So 300,000. You get a contribution revenue minus variable costs is called a contribution. Less fixed cost. You get this is your actual profit. Maybe let's say this is your profit. Clear? This is what we mean at the beginning. Of the year. But actually, we were not able to sell 10,000 units. We sold only 9,600 units, and these are our actual results. Do you understand? We sold that. Now, what is the price we need to compute this? This was our revenue. So, revenue has come down. Obviously, the number of units has come down. These are the costs. Mind you, but these costs are for 9,600 units. This is not very comparable, is it? So, what's the point of comparing? The cost for 10,000 units with the cost for 9,600 units. Yes or no? Anyway, as per our actual result, these were the total costs. This is our contribution. If you reduce the fixed cost, we get 74,764 only is the profit. Profit has come down. Therefore, we seem to have a budget variance. Two, what is the difference? 236. Is it good or bad? It is bad. Because the actual profit is lower than the budgeted profit. Therefore, we say the static budget variance. This difference, right? The static budget variance is how much? 236 unfavorable. 236 unfavorable. We can break it up. Each item. So, sales is an unfavorable variance. Naturally, we sold 400 units less. So, it's an unfavorable variance. Lower sales. But the costs are all showing favorable. Why? Because we are talking of costs of 9,600 units, not 10,000 units. Favorable. Add up this difference is 2764, a favorable contribution. But again, I just fixed costs into a run up for some reason 75 to 78,000, 3,000. <coughs> Do the math. 236 unfavorable. So this is a breakup of item wise at each level for the breakup between static and actual results. So you understood what is the static budget variance. When you compare the static budget with the actual, you get the static budget variance. In this case, it is 236 unfavorable. This we already did, right? Static budget. So, now what we will do is, actual output and sales may be different, right? So, we prepare what is called not a static budget, a flexible budget. We adjust the static budget for the actual level of output. So, we will now find out for 9600 units. We will take the standard cost for actual output to arrive at a flexible budget. And if you take the difference between the actual and the flexible budget, those gives you the flexible budget variance. But the difference between the static and the flexible budget is the sales volume. So this was for example for 10,000 units. That was your static budget, right? This 9,600 units when you compare, this difference is the sales volume difference for 400 units. Yes or no? Static minus flexible budget. So we take the budget which was made, convert it to a flexible budget. And then compare flexible budget and actual budget. This, I'm sorry, actual result. This is actually comparable because this is both 9,600 
9600 and then say that is the variance, that's the flexible budget that it gets. So, so can I say, these are called the level 2 variances, so these are called level 2 variances. Can I say, the static budget variance consists of the sales volume variance on one side and the flexible budget variance on the other side. Static budget, this is for full 10,000. Static budget here, 10,000, 9,000. This 400 is your sales volume difference and the balance is your flexible budget. So this is now, you've got all three. This was static. You had this also, actual. Now we are, from the static, we have made a flexible budget. If this is the standard for 9600, which is the actual output, right? Which is the actual output. What should be the standard cost and standard revenue for this? So at 45 per unit into 9600 units, we get a revenue of 4000. We get cost, standard cost for 9,600 units. What is 9,600? The actual output. We find out the cost, the direct material, the direct labor, and the variable overhead cost. Is it clear? Variable overhead cost. These are the total variable cost for 9,600 units of output. Therefore, we get a contribution. Reduced standard was 75, right? So, fixed cost, there is no change. Everything else has changed. Pro rata, pro rata proportionately. Only fixed will remain fixed. So, so this difference, seventy-five to sixty-nine thousand. This is a difference of <coughs> four hundred units or six thousand dollars. Unfavorable. Why unfavorable? The profits have come down. What is this? This is the profit. Profits have come down. Static was 75,000. Flexible budget is 69,000. Sales volume variance is unfavorable 6,000 because we sold 400 units less. Now, now we have taken the standard cost for 9,600, comparing it with the actual. Actual. Now there is a difference. The actual profits are but more. So here we have a favorable variance. What do you say? This is a flexible budget variance comparing the actual with the flexible budget with the standard cost of for the actual output. We get a favorable variance of 5764. This together gives you the variance of 236 unfavorable, which is what we have got before. Is it clear how the split has happened? <coughs> We can take each item also from static budget, the sales volume variances, 18,000 loss of revenue. These were of course the savings in cost because we made 400 units less, less, but 6,000 was your unfavorable contribution. You had the flexible budget, if you compare the flexible budget with the actual results, with the actual result. You get the uh, variances, you get the flexible budget variance. The revenue variance is favorable, 9,600 units. Probably sold at a higher price, this is given. But the, but, the, but the variance is unfavorable, unfavorable as far as the cost. Actual result 5978, you are all greater than the standard cost for the actual output of 9600 units. All this is for 9600 units. But fixed cost also has increased. In all, if you compare the flexible budget and the actual results, we see there is a favorable variance of 5700. This largely seems to be on account, the favorable on account of the revenue variance being. The 
this summation 6000 minus 5764 is 236. I hope you are getting the whole picture students. You find out the budget for 10,000 units but actually it is only for 9,600 units. So flex the static budget and find out what it is for 9,600 units. Then compare actual demand and arrive at a real price. The components of a flexible budget variance, <laughs> what are they? They consist of direct material variance, the direct labor variance, and the factory operating variance. We will discuss each of this, of course. These are the flexible budget variances and the sales volume variance. Of course, it's applicable when it's multi product, would be the sales yield variance and the sales mix variance. Sales mix. Thanks.